All right, so here you see the brand new winter edition by Ciao Bella and also one stamp set by Creative Expressions because this is also new for the holidays. So I thought I would show this to you as well at the end. And yeah, these are the first Christmas releases of the season. And I know that lots of crafters are really happy about that because maybe you already started to make your Christmas crafts or maybe you do card making for Christmas all year round and now you have lots of new items to play with. So I absolutely adore this new paper over here. It's called Winter Journey and we have with this one not only the paper pad but we also have a 12 by 12 patterns pad, the A4 creative pad, 8 by 8 and 6x6 fussy cutting pad. And yeah, let's open all of this up so you get an idea of what this beautiful release looks like. So what I love about Jabella is that this first page here is your cover page, but it's also the same thickness like all the other pages. So you don't have to throw this away. You can already do some cutouts from this sheet, or of course you can use the back here and here I really love these little cards and then the stack here. So again, you can cut out different elements or of course use this for your scrapbooking. Very versatile here as well. You can cut out different elements or use the whole page. I think this is so cute. Walking in Winter Wonderland, it says there. And then we have all of these beautiful backgrounds. This is so, yeah, really gorgeously done here with this watercolor, kind of like a loose watercolor look of this robin very dreamy and here we have this note sheet i love this page here as well once again with the stack here we have some map oh this is really stunning i love all of these blue tones especially if you don't want your typical christmas paper that's red and green then here we have this really dreamy look to it absolutely stunning very icy and snowy yeah, really gorgeous winter feeling. Here's the bunnies. And then here it says it's a beautiful day. Here we have this robin again. Or oh, I hope it's a robin. <laughs> and then here it says when snow falls, nature listens. Really nice. And then here we have this cute little ski chalet as a background. Such a nice texture here as well. And then here we have more things to cut out. Happy winter, let it snow, happy holidays, beautiful season and season's greetings. This is really beautiful. Here we have another background. And then here again, you can layer all of those things up or of course use it as a whole sheet. And yeah, I think these drawings or these paintings, they're absolutely stunning. Here it's kind of like a tree trunk. And then here we have these little elements. Either you can cut out the whole square or, of course, just take elements from here. So beautiful. And then here another great background. Here we have this bunny again or rabbit. Or maybe like a snow hair. And then here's this really nice background. And then here's this fox. Absolutely beautiful. I just think these colors they're really really nice if you just want something that says winter wonderland then <laughs> this is definitely the paper for you and i love that you have even more variety here because this is a main paper pad with a main motive so to speak and then here we also have a patterns pad so that means you have even more backgrounds in here so let me open this as well so we'll see patterns pad you get one of eight double-sided papers and in the paper pad you get one of 12 double-sided papers so it's a little bit smaller but again i still think it's great that you have all of this variety like even here different things to cut out already from the front like it's a whole different paper pad here as well and here you can just cut out a word or something maybe a name if you want to create a tag for somebody where you create a gift for for example and here we have this really beautiful background, once again, totally different. So it's not just the same background that you've seen, but like a different style in this package here as well. Look at those, oh my God, so beautiful. 
I really like little paintings. It's actually so beautiful. I would just frame it. I don't even want to cut it apart. I would just take little things and put a frame around it. I think it's so stunning. Or of course, you can use the backside here as well if you just want to layer it onto a card. And then here we have this gorgeous background. And this one is really nice too. Wow, so stunning. And then here you can also use that as a background or for your scrapbooking. Or of course, you can use any element here if you want to do some fussy cutting. And then here another great background here as well. I love this mixed media look with Ciao Bella because you don't just get the painting or the color. You get all of those little speckles, some text, lots of detail. And yeah, I just think all of this texture just makes it so interesting. Or of course, if you don't want that, then you also get something like a cleaner background. Really depends which side you want to use here. <laughs> kind of difficult to um, decide really. And then here you have these great tags. I just think this is so stunning. Like I love these animals, especially the stag and the fox in the snow. And then here's this owl, absolutely gorgeous. And then here, another background. Oops, I think I skipped one. Oh yeah, <laughs> I skipped one. So here, one more background here as well. And now the last one here. And I think this is just such a great uh, paper pad to add to the main paper pad. So as I said, this is a paper pad. This is the patterns pad technically with background, but as you've seen also so much more. So they obviously go really nicely together. And also, if you want to have even more things to cut out, then Chabella is really great in giving you this thing, which is called a creative pad. And in this creative pad, you get one of nine double-sided papers. And once again, totally different to the rest. So let me open this as well. So once again, you can already do your cutout from this sheet here, or of course, from the side here. Oh, just gorgeous. Absolutely lovely. And then here we have lots of these little tags or round shapes. And again, really nice to layer all of those together. Here we have a background as well. Then here we have more things to cut out. And if you're not really into fussy cutting, because <laughs> if you're like me and if your hand gets tired quickly, then I think this is ideal because it, it's not too fine. So you don't really have to spend a lot of time on it. So here it's just these shapes. So even I could do that. So here you have something that's almost like a postcard. And this is really nice. Or of course, if you enjoy fussy cutting, then you can cut out all of these individual bits as well. But I just like that you have a bit of a variety here. In case fussy cutting isn't your thing, then here it's just a really easy shape. Not really fussy, just cutting. And then here we have gorgeous elements as well. And yeah, I love all of those rectangular shapes, especially if you like to layer things together on the card, then couldn't be nicer than that. And then here we have these tags. And here it says winter journey for you. That's a quick way to add a tag to like a gift or something. Or of course, you can just use it for your mixed media make here as well. Happy holidays. And then, yeah, different sizes, which I think is really handy as well. Or of course, you can always use these backgrounds. And here we have these beautiful uh, rectangular shapes here again. Or of course, you can use elements. And here another background here as well. And then here more things to cut from. I absolutely love these creative pads that just give you so much variety. Or, of course, if you don't really need the 12 by 12 paper, then the paper pad, so the first package that I've shown you, that you can also receive in 8 by 8 And it's all the same, except that the front is a bit different. But you've seen this already in the 12 by 12 size. And yeah, just again, nice to have all of this variety. Or you can also get the Fussy Cut Pad 6x6 and it's a little bit 
um, weird because you might think this is now only fussy cutting. However, you also will have in these Chabella fussy cutting pads really nice background. So especially if you're into smaller makes and don't yeah, get put off by the name fussy cut, there are many nice backgrounds in here. So in these um, paper pads that come in six by six, you get three of eight double-sided papers. So that's nice because then you have lots of variety. And here it's not double-sided, but it's still a very sturdy paper, I would say. Yeah, still the same thickness really. So you can already do your fussy cutting from here as well. You don't have to throw that away. And then you have, yeah, these really nice cutouts, as I said. However, if you turn it around, you will also find lots of beautiful backgrounds. And of course, three times, yeah, one, two, three. Then the next one here again, nice fussy cutting options. Or of course, this also would be, I think, beautiful for a background. And then here as well. So you don't technically have to cut any of that. I think this also would look great as texture in any background. Then here we have easy shapes once again. <laughs> I could do those, so that's good for me. And then here we have a little bit more detail, like silhouette, that's really pretty. And then here another background. Now we have snowflakes, that's really nice as well. Oh, I just love this one. This is probably one of my favorite backgrounds. I think it's so cute and so colorful. And yeah, this whole winter vibe is just great. And then here, yeah, three of these little ski chalets. And then, oops, this should be another background. Yep. Here is the background. And then here, another background and more of those little, yeah, little houses or chalets. So I think this is really fun because I love how this all works together. This is so gorgeous. And if you need some stamping options, then we also have three new big stamp sets. So I just love this one here. I think this is so cute. If you ever watched any of my other unboxing videos, then you know I have a thing with rabbits or bunnies. And every time there is a new design, I think this is the cutest bunny I've ever seen. And and next month there is something else and once again i think this is so adorable and probably you could also use this for easter so it's not just for winter i suppose it could be for many use cases maybe even for happy birthday and so on and also the same here i love this one as well and then here you just have some texture and then of course this would make it more winter and snowy and so would this and here it actually says hello winter but still very versatile for many different use cases and here as well. So here it's yeah technically more an outdoorsy feel, I would say, but we have this beautiful stack that was featured in the paper and then we have some map and then these chalets again. So I think this is really nice as well. It says into the wild and the next one here says welcome to our woods. And here we have this grizzly and another stack and yeah, just more if you wanted to create snowy scenery, so to speak, if you want to have this outdoor winter feeling, then this obviously all works beautifully together. And then also a stencil. So that's a brand new stencil. But of course, if you look on messypapercraft.com, you will find that with Chabella, there are many more great stencils. But I just love anything that gives you texture for your make. So this is a really nice one as well. What's that called? It's called Deep Woods. So yeah, but we have more winter inspired stencils there as well. And then also really beautiful is this release by Ciao Bella, which is also brand new and it's called Sparkling Christmas. So let me open the 12 by 12 one. So here we have the paper pad and once again you can do your cutouts from this first page here uh, of course you can use these backgrounds here and yeah totally different look but i just thought it's nice because once again it's not your typical red and green just in case you're not into it although i'm sure we will get plenty of that as well so don't you worry however i just like when companies come out with a little bit of a twist of christmas and here it's just very elegant 
all the green and gold and beautiful flowers. And then here we have this cute little kitten and then these really dreamy scenes. And then here as well, we have beautiful things to cut out. I love this one here as well, little seal. And then here, more gorgeous backgrounds, beautiful golden elements here as well. Once again, lots of things to cut out and not too difficult. And here we have this one. I love this look. This is really beautiful because once again, you can use it as a scrapbooking page or of course you can just use different elements and it all works so beautifully together. Nice here as well. And then you get one sheet here for your fussy cutting. Again, not too complicated, I would say. Fairly easy shapes. That's nice for me. And then here we have another beautiful background and then another scenery here as well. And here also, if you don't need the top of 12, if you create smaller projects, then the same paper is also available in 8x8. And the only thing that's different is the front. So here it's just a little bit of a different design. Everything else is exactly the same as you've just seen. And then we also have the fussy cutting pad. So let me open this as well. And once again, it's not just for fussy cutting. It also has really nice backgrounds. And again, we have here all of those sheets three times, while in the main paper, it's only one time. And even in the 8x8, it's only one time. And that's why I think this 6x6 option, especially if you love smaller elements, and that's obviously a lot of great variety for your money because three of each and I just think this is so cute. I don't think the camera will pick this up, but it's all these little golden reindeers or stacks. It's really pretty. And then here we have the fussy cutting elements as you've seen in the bigger size. And then here, really nice backgrounds. Oh yeah, that's a really good fussy cutting pad because all the shapes, they seem to be even good for me. If you don't enjoy fussy cutting for small elements, then lots of those are not too bad. So that's really good. And of course, gorgeous backgrounds here. And here we have this one. Here we have frames. I love frames. They always look really good if you layer things together on any card. And then here this beautiful yellow golden tone. And then here we have this really cute cat again. And then very romantic Christmas trees and furniture. So yeah, absolutely beautiful here as well. And as promised last but not least, something totally quirky and different, but yeah, just one of our first other Christmas stamps that came in. It's this one by Creative Expression and it's called Jane's Doodles. And the stamp set is called Oh Christmas Tree. And yeah, in case you don't want anything elegant or wintry, but you're into this quirky Christmas look, then I think this is perfect because once again, I just love these kittens. And that's what it looks from the back. <laughs> the dog here is so cute as well. So yeah, if you're looking for a little bit more of a quirky stamp set with these really gorgeous animals, then this is a lot of fun. And here it says Dex the Halls, Merry and Bright, Oh Christmas Tree, and Holiday Cheer. So yeah, a really great mix here of all of those different uh, stamp and paper sets and i hope that you enjoyed this video if you did then please leave me a thumbs up and press the subscribe button that you'll never miss out on all of those exciting new crafting items and with that i wish you a very crafty week and remember no stressy be messy and have fun see you next time